Bellin. Even though, kind of even, 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 even though he, a little bit, he, he does the thing, the thing. The thing? It's like annoying. What is the thing? Because my matchup versus Cordy is, can I kill Cordy the game? And most of the times it's no, and then I cry. Right. Well, Wario, I mean, does have the answers for that sometimes. I mean, you can find your way in as long as he gets a good neutral air or something like that. Cordy can sometimes get boxed out a little bit. Yeah, he either gets boxed out, um, or they like kind of like go in on each other, and then Matador usually I think seals the kill before Cordy, and then Cordy cries because he's making that right. at zero percent. And then that's an issue he's at zero percent. Yeah, that makes sense. Pichu's lived like a 120 force pump. Oh my well, god! Yeah, that's like no one's broken. It. That's like bigger than Mario's Smash 4 hitbox. If I it's like an insane oh. hitbox. It's really strong, but it's also up Smash. Pretty much. I mean, and now gonna get some combos off the platform. Oh, yeah. solid 70. And Jesus uh, Christ, he just gets in the Yeah, yeah. Cordy likes to do that. He likes to wave bounce a lot if he's feeling it. And sometimes he wave bounces on the stage so he can get a hit in the forest bomb and then kill them. But like, uh, he got deleted for that. I mean, it was a great bait by Mana, though. Those are, Cordy also counters a lot. I've noticed the funnies. Oh, B reverse. True. Most people can't B reverse that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Actually, it's neutral B, so it's like. Easy. Yeah, I mean, he caught something, so it's just like now Cordy wants to build his rage just a little bit more. I mean, he can still do something with 60 from, uh, 65. He actually doesn't want to get hit because it's scary. Because um, if he gets hit, he, that's... Oh, here. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even need... Oh, man, he's just landing on the platform. He just dies. I mean, yeah, because yeah. he either... He, what are you going to do? Are you going to air dodge or counter? Directional air dodge... I think directional air dodge center stage is even optimal, but, like, it's also like, oh, God, I just got up here by Wario. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Right, right. You just kind of panic. And then everyone air dodges normally. Which is, a, which is a thing. Or uh, he's most likely expecting a counter because he's already got him for one once. And Cordy kind of likes to counter a lot. Especially yeah, versus, I've like, that, yeah. like, he loves to fall down from juggles with counter. And yeah. then you just sit there and wait, and then he dies. And, he just, that, exactly and, and in theory, some people, you know, get, get caught with it. And he does get a lot off of it. So it's kind of a... That is a wow. misinput. That, that is was very 100% of a misinput. Now, two homies... Cordy just, like, taunting? Listen. Never. It's not optimal. Is obviously not optimal. That is, is probably his luck. He, he knows the frame data on the taunts, though. Oh my god. That, that is that that is a such a Cordy thing, knowing the frame data of his own taunts. It's like, he, here, here's the hitbox of my taunt. It's like, you don't even have one. Exactly. He just shows you a Oh my god. I think he, so either, he just, I don't think he two framed him. I think he just like hit him between the spaces, between ledge, before he got, got the ledge animation. Yeah. But he actually just got bopped. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's really far behind. Even though it's Lakaro, it's still really bad. Right. Especially against Rari, who just oh kind of deletes you sometimes. He's getting hit with like both hits of these nares as well. I'm surprised he's not like mashing to get out. Cordy also uh, really loves to do, um, if he's like slightly above ledge or at ledge air height, he will always almost either double jump and then dash into you, or double jump and dash over you into the stage and hope it hits. Which okay. it does most people, but uh, obviously not matter of being like I think seventh on the PR or something insane. Uh, that would be no, he's thirteen. Oh, I underestimate Mad Oh, it's probably because he travels too much. If he like only he travels too much. I think if you snipe Xanadu like twice and then farm caves, you PR like top ten. You just have to like when you go to the Xanadu, you just have to beat Seagull Joe. I mean, it just it, seems like it's in the opposite way. Like it just seems like uh, anyway. Yeah. It's just, you just need to have enough, you need to body Seagull Joe twice at Xanadu, and then never go to Xanadu again, so that's his only impression of you. And then you will easily be above all the top MP. <laughs> oh, well, uh, pro strats here from Generic. Yeah, this is this is the strategy. This is why I'm going to go, this is oh, why you got to go to this. Well, there is a pro strategy as well. Getting the Waff tilt confirmed. Ooh. Yeah, it's pr pretty pretty skilled. I, li I like to see it down skill coming out. He pressed two buttons and killed him, but like, you know. Well, he pressed three, he pressed jump. Yeah. Although he could have technically used tab jump, but I don't think he does. Tab jump is ew. Tab jump is ew, but you get those phantom foot skills. Yeah, just smash X. <laughs> just kidding. Oh okay, so uh, yes, I would love to see you phantom footstool Lucario upper that kills you at thirty. I'm sure that won't work. I sh I'm sure that will work out. Good and tech. you'll look cool. Excellent. And you got a yes. Matador pointed me out to this. Cordy really like Matador himself pointed it out to Cord to me that Cordy really likes S smash because it has a surprisingly little amount of lag. Like, if you look at Young Link's up B, it has, like, no lag. Yeah. It's like that with Lucario, but it's deceptive because it's a smash attack, so everyone assumes it has more, so there's more room. Right, so you go in for a punish, and he's already acting on you. And then he usually shields or grabs. Gotcha. Or he uh, jump downers, which is, he really likes doing jump downer out of uh, anything. Interesting. Now, this is where uh, Cordy is the true scariest thing. Is oh, my God. Wow. The turnaround. Well, I mean, still, hey, it was a good read. Yeah. 
this is where Cordy truly gets scary because at this time you're like so deathly afraid of a aura sphere that he just doesn't need to do it and he can just sit there and have the threat. He's trying to use the bike to just cover his approach back, but I mean it does save him a little bit of time. Oh. He finds his dash deck. Dash deck, nice. Yeah. I'm surprised. That was a clearly not expected dash deck, and yeah. then it's sweet back up. Well, I mean definitely would have not, not, not Gordy.